hello everybody hello all of you beautiful people good to see so many of you already here 10 people watching over on youtube one on twitch i see and 17 likes already that is awesome i'm glad you guys are all here and uh looks like you guys are all excited for breakwaters i made a command i don't know if uh, streamlabs woke up yet let's see if it uh, if it actually works it should send out something for a link for Steam to wishlist the game and something. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, the Discord for Breakwaters. If you want to join their Discord and a link to go to Steam and wishlist Breakwaters immediately if you wish to do so. So all you have to do, if you uh, if somebody is asking for the link to the Steam page, or if they want the Discord, then just do exclamation mark BW uh, for Breakwaters, of course, and then they uh, should be able to um, to get it that way. All right. So for all of you who are here and don't know what this is, this is Breakwaters. This is a closed beta. It's still in development. Um, not everybody has access to it right now, only a few content creators. And they're adding like a couple more content creators like every day or so uh, to the list. Uh, and the Kickstarter supporters of course. So everybody who joined in on the Kickstarter which is closed right now, you can't enter that anymore. And a couple of content creators have access to the game and I'm one of the lucky ones, I'm very excited about it. I, uh, I've been in their Discord for a very long time. Well, very long. For like a couple of a couple of weeks, months. Like uh, two or three months or something. But I'm very, very, very excited about this game. And I cannot wait to, uh, to play it. I did play it a little bit yesterday when I got the key. Uh, I was so excited. And um, I believe Joe was the one who suggested. Or Foodie Food. Who said like... Uh, members only stream and i was like yeah why not <laughs> let's do a members only stream to uh, to test out the game test out the settings see how it works um so yeah the members could have already seen some gameplay on it yesterday evening or i mean for my time <laughs> today this morning very early on um but yeah let's go start a new game I'm not going to do the same seed as I did yesterday. I'm just going to do a random seed. Let's just do uh, like this. I don't know if that works, but we'll we'll see. Let's just do booster. I don't like booster doom, but just booster is, um, is not available on Steam or Twitch or whatever. Sadly. There's not a lot of customization options yet. You can do fe like a female character, base character, or like a male. It says there's four options, but I don't see any changes between between the two males and the two female options. But, you know, whatever. You can change the skin color as of right now. Uh, a couple of hair styles. Color of hair. And you can change the shirt, which doesn't seem to do anything yet. But then again, close beta. A lot of changes are going to happen to the game still. I am excited. Let's go. We are going to be playing Breakwaters. So Breakwaters is basically in the middle of the ocean. There's lots of islands, little islands, big islands. There's huge titans roaming around the world. 
there's gonna be, as you can see right here, like massive turtle island like creatures in the game. That one is not in the game yet, but that one is. I believe they call that one the Turtle Titan. Because it kind of looks like the head of a turtle, I guess. And I don't know, it looks like a kind of a shell on his back. That creature is massive. It's massive. Now you might be wondering, hey, the water looks good, colorful. But why is there like a giant whirlpool in the middle there? Multiple ones. Now those are created by these crystals. These yellow crystals right here. And if I get rid of them, it might take a while while punching them. But if I get rid of them, the water will flood back. Those yellow crystals have some sort of magical... All right. I think that's fixed again. Not quite sure when that ended. Hopefully uh, the stream is going to be okay. I'm so excited to play this. I don't want the YouTube messing it up. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, those crystals are awesome. They can displace water. You can use that to your advantage in many different ways. Let's just um, do what we are supposed to do. And let's go to this guy over here. Hello, sir. It's an uh, archaeologist. I'm an archaeologist studying the, the turtle titan you see in the distance. I tracked it and a relic to this island. I feel like the relics and the titans must be related somehow. Help me find the relic and uncover the truth. But first, I'm starving. Gather four sea anemone from the ocean and bring them back. I can't work on an empty stomach. Here, take these. They are my refined yellow crystal torches. When you place them, they push away the water, allowing you to reach the ocean. You can uh, to reach the ocean floor. You can move them around after placing them if you need to roost them. All right, so right now I have those things in my inventory. So we have to go and look for some sea anemone. There's some right there. So let's place these on the bottom right there. Let's see what happens. There we go. That is pretty freaking awesome. Place another one there. Yeah, baby. Pick up the sea anemone. And we can just move them around. The water will instantly, like, push back. And you can see the further down you go, like, the stronger the water gets. It's, uh, it's gonna have a lot of problems. Keep up with the water, basically. The more water is around you, like, the less of an area it gives you to walk on. Even if you have multiple of them. Uh, let's move that way. Can I still reach that one? A little hard to reach sometimes. Played around with it yesterday. It's, ooh, it's sometimes a little bit wonky. But it's amazing. There we go. Let's place that water. Yeah, baby. Alright, another one. We got Hydration, Max plus 10. Homesteading level 2. I like it. I don't know what it means, but I like it. I mean, I kind of know what it means, but, you know. Alright, how many do we have? We have 5. I think we only needed 4 of them. So we already have enough. Place these... Um... Let's see, where's that Archaeologist? Oh, he's right there. Let's just uh, try and get back, I guess. Where we were. 
And why would we use the land if we can use the water? So let's, um, you know, let's just go there by displacing the water. As you can see, it's not as strong on its own if there's too much water. You can build multiple of these later on. Like, these are just the ones that you get for free. Go. And let's just put them uh, on the edge here. There we go. To keep us safe from, uh, from the water. You can collect some of this stuff as well. Some seagrass. Very nice. Hey, Christopher. How's it going? Graphics looks interesting on this. Just joined the stream. How are you liking so far? It is amazing. I've played a little bit yesterday for uh, the members only stream. Um, only like two hours to check out how everything worked. Like things you can craft in the beginning. Things you should craft in the beginning. So it gives me a, a little advantage for today. And I have watched a lot of gameplay as much as possible already on the game. Since uh, people got access to it. If anybody is wondering where you can get the game. It is not available right now. It's closed beta. But if you do exclamation mark BW in chat. Then Streamlabs should give you a Steam link. Uh, where you can wishlist the game right now. Or there's also a link in there. Uh, with the same one. Exclamation mark BW. That will give you a link to the Discord of Breakwaters. Alright. We gathered the sea anemones. You can use the refined yellow crystal torches I gave you to reach the sea anemones deep in the water. Remember, I need four. Yes, I got them. Those look great. While you were gathering the... While you were gathering, I built a fire pit. Here, go ahead and place it on the ground. Talk to me after you placed it. Alright, cool. I got a fire pit. Let's see. Let's build the fire pit, I guess, um, right here is a, a good enough place. Yep, I built the fire pit. Um, or I need, to, I need to cook the sea anemone. Right, right. There we go. Now I need to cook it. I do need some, some wood. First things first, let's get ourselves an axe. We need two sticks, one hardened shell, and seagrass. We have seagrass already. A hardened shell is obtained by a crab. Oh, we want those bottles. Bottles are important. Ruined paper. Haven't found that one yet yesterday. Interesting. Uh, I guess that's just uh, fuel for the fire, actually. All right, let's put the bottles. Oh, let's put the bottles in there for now. We got a bandage there immediately. That's great. Cannonballs. Mushroom coral. Yellow crystal. Let's put that all in there for now. We don't need it yet. And let's gather some sticks. We can get those from uh, punching some bushes. And get berries from them as well. How you doing Holly? How's everybody in chat doing by the way? I haven't done that yet. Usually I always do that. Let's see who's all here. I think it's a whole list. I see 30 people watching right now. 24 likes. That's awesome. Let's see. We got Amanda. We got David. Mini Fox. We got Drag on the Twitch chat, of course, as always. We got uh, Dark. We got Joe. We got Smoke. We have... Who else? Who else? Razvan. Mm -mm -mm. Amanda, Sean, hey, hello, how you doing? Uh, Linda, of course, Sergeant Mom. Dark, Ison. A whole lot of people chatting and watching. Hey, Ren, how you doing? Good to see you. Christopher, of course, already said hello. Holly. And I think that's about it. Oh, hey, Panzer. How you doing? Panzer Solar. Hello, hello. All right. You're good. It's okay. Your enthusiasm is so contagious, Booster. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I'm very, 
I'm very happy to play this today. I, as you guys know, I mean, I've been waiting. I've got, kind of been waiting to, um, and hoping to get access to the game. And um, the developers were nice enough to, um, to let me. So that's awesome. I was literally singing for them. Would you let me have access to breakwaters? Uh, that's literally what I was doing the whole time in, in the Discord. Um, where did the hardened shell go? Did it fall through the fall through the sand? Ah, oh, there we go. Now we got one. Alright, so now we can craft an axe. Beautiful. We got ourselves an axe. Now with that, we can smack down these palm trees, which are very important for tree branches, for coconuts, or palm logs. And coconuts is basically what's going to keep you alive the whole time in this game. Um, coconuts and berries. Because you do have a hunger and a water meter. And it goes down pretty quickly. Coconuts is going to give you 4 hydration, 2 hunger. And berries is going to give you 2 hydration and 4 hunger. Um, which I don't really understand. I feel like coconuts would be better both ways. I feel like like the coconut flesh should give you more hunger than the berry does, and the water inside of a coconut should also give you more hydration than the than the berry does. Um, but you know, it's still as I said, closed beta. So, hey, not Smith, um, you're doing great. Game looks brilliant. Oh yes, it does. Yes, it does. I mean, not everything is a hundred percent perfect yet. Obviously, um, but they're they're they have done an amazing job. I mean, they have footsteps, and I I like it very much in a sense. It looks very basic, but I just I just like having footsteps in games, like in snow or whatever. I need to stop talking and um, and start working. Actually, that's what I should be doing. Uh, let's get a quickly a builder's bench. We need tree branches and seagrass. Let's see. We have three branches right there. Is that enough? And we need one more. We need to cut down a couple more trees. There we go. Three branches. And we need more seagrass. Oh, it's getting dark already. Alright, let's go this way. The game also has bioluminescence, so as you can see, the water is like lighting up. And as you... Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I was stuck about the red coral there. As you swim through it, the bioluminescence will uh, will activate. That's awesome. This is such a pretty game already. And I'm really happy to be playing it. Ba-ba-bum... Builder's bench. Um, I have it right there. Let's see. Let's build the builder's bench over near the uh, archaeologist. Let's build it right there, I guess. Where did we have those torches? Oh, there they are. Let's keep the torches close to me. Because I am afraid to, uh, to lose them. And also, if there's a wave of water, then these will uh, protect us. Plus, pretty lights. I like pretty lights. Pretty lights are the best lights. Show them the drying sand. <laughs> no, that, that was only for the members only. Yeah, that, that was members only content, you know. Letting my members literally watch sand drying up. That's literally what I did for a second. You want to see that fantastic content that you got to become a member right now? Question mark. Uh, yeah, sure. Alrighty. Let's get some logs. Because we need to light up that fire. 
I said we need logs. Thank you. There we go. Got him. Ba -ba -bum. And then what else do we need? I want to have a leaf hat because a leaf hat will give me a plus one shade that reduces the dehydration rate by 50%. And as you can see, I'm very, very thirsty and hungry right now. But first I need to get that one, uh, which we need more seagrass for. Which luckily there is an abundance of it. If the if the tide is um, generous. There we go. Oh, um, get myself a leaf hat. Uh, I think it dropped on the floor. Is that it? Yeah, that is it. Okay. Um, let me quickly put that on the ground. Pick up the leaf hat. Right click. There we go. Now we are wearing a leaf hat and the dehydration should be a little better. A little better. Not much, but a little. Let's see, we have a water bottle. Let's drink it. Beautiful. Pick up the empty bottle again. And we should probably... Oh, that did quite a lot. That's awesome. Alright, let's get a couple of coconuts. We have a couple, I mean all of them, because he uh, he a thirsty boy. We also need more berries. Also watch out if you're swinging your axe on these uh, bushes. Christopher, thank you very much for becoming a member. That's amazing. I'm happy to see you here. Thanks for becoming a member to the channel. Alright, now we have a dead rat. That's great. These dead rats can be actually be used as a fuel. And we can obviously cook the meat from the dead rat as well. Uh, and it says in the description, it's a dead rat. Beware, if left on the ground, dead things will attract more rats. So if they're dead, like corpses. Dead corpses? <laughs> a corpse is always dead, uh, booster. Yeah, great. But if there's a corpse on the ground of an animal or whatever then um, it will attract more rats so you want to pick these up unless you want to farm the rats because again they are a good source of meat and also fuel so uh what was i doing let's see um, i need i need food right now so what we should do we should put the red the meat in we should put the red in put the palm locks in there uh, look at that beautiful fire. I wonder what happens if I put multiple in there. Oh, there we go. That's a nice fire. That's much better. That's much better. Du -du -du. Raise zombie rats to do your bidding. Ooh, I wish. I mean, honestly, these, these rats... At night time, they look very scary. Because they have, like, bright red eyes. It's, uh... Quite scary, not gonna lie. Oh, I totally forgot. I have to keep right-clicking this. You can only put one food in here at a time. It is locked to one. But if you get, like, an, uh, a better fire pit, then you will have, like, two or three. And, like, you know, you have to upgrade your, uh, your cooking station, basically. To get access to more slots here. Which is kind of cool. I like it. But you can just right click on whatever's in your inventory and it will automatically swap it if you have an uh, you have an empty slot. We're gonna want to have a little bit more inventory as well because this is basically nothing. You can't really do much with this inventory. It's gonna be time. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Alrighty. Uh, let's get ourselves a net bag. We need 4 sticks and we need 18 seagrass. That should be doable. Let's get ourselves some sticks. Oh, there's some more rats. Pick up the meat. No. Pick up the dead rats. No. I'm totally full. Um, I want... <laughs> I want the rat. Give me the rat. Give me the rat. Give me the meat as well. Um, let's eat that. Let's pick up the raw meat. 
There we go. Did we get any sticks from that? We got three of them. Couple of sticks. I think you get sticks as well from the palm from the palm trees, but not as many. Oh, there's another red. Hey, bro. We have 10 sticks right now. How many did we need? I don't remember. Uh, oh, we only needed four, and we need seagrass again. Seagrass. Alright, I'm gonna ask the help of uh, these things. Yes! Displace that water. Oh my god, that's so awesome, man. That's so amazing. I'm in love with it. Hey, Lincoln. Uh, this game looks cool. I want to build an infinity pool like the trailer. Infinity pool? What do you mean? Like an infinite pool of water? Is that what you mean? I'm not sure if that's something you can do. Um, not quite sure what you are referring to in the trailer. I've seen it a couple of times, but... I don't know. Let's right click uh, this. Equip the bag. And now we have a little bit more inventory slots. So this is the maximum amount we can get. And this is what we have right now. So we have a little bit more. We can upgrade it again to a cloth bag. But we need 63 seagrass. 24 sticks. And 3 hardened chills. Honestly not that hard to get. It just takes a little while. The death trailer. Yeah, I've seen that a couple of times, but I don't remember seeing a infinite pool of water. I don't think it's like Minecraft that you can put water in like each corner and it creates an infinity pool. Not sure. Maybe. I'm not sure. I mean, this is basically the first time that I'm playing it. I've seen gameplay on it, but other than that, I don't know nothing. Alright, let's talk to this guy. We cooked the sea anemone for him. Uh, look, uh, these look great. Uh, I'm sure they will taste just as delicious. Now back to the task at hand. Take my treasure map. If you use it, you can see where I think the relic is buried. Let me know when you are ready to seek out the treasure. I will help you retrieve it. Okay, bye. Uh, I mean, I guess I am ready. Um... But let's uh, let's do some other things first. Let's see what what can we build right now, which we would like to have. So I have this hat. It has a shade which reduces hydration rate. There is another hat which does exactly the same thing, uh, but you can make it from spider silk and sea grass. There is no there are spiders in the game, but there's no spider silk in the game yet, I believe. So this is a, a locked item basically, as far as I know, anyway. And every single item that you see in here with uh, with locked obviously means it is locked. But also, if you see in the crafting recipe, uh, net bag, seagrass, sticks, and unobtainium. Unobtainium is literally unobtainable. So those items cannot be crafted just yet. Uh, that is just like a placeholder item, I assume. And that will change into something else in the future, most likely. But we can craft a whole bunch of stuff, like bone armor. I don't remember where we got bones from. I think I think you can kill chickens and get bones from those. Not sure yet. I don't remember. There's different kinds of weapons. Arrows, bombs, explosive arrows. Cannonballs. You can make them, but you can also find them while digging. We need the shovels first. And we're gonna need that for one of the missions. Craft swords, hammers. We have uh, builder bench upgrades, forges, boat yards. Boats are not in the game yet, but we will be able to make them in the future. That's pretty cool. Uh, fire pits. This is an improved one. Yeah, you have the campfire and you have the fire pit. But this one is an improved version, I assume. I think. Uh, Plus one cooking slots. 
Not sure if that's plus one of the regular campfire or if that is plus one or one in total. Not sure. Uh, solar still. We can make that. Green jellies melt in blue crystal water. Yeah, we know that. We need green jelly skin for that. That's on the second island, I believe. Can't have those yet. But we can, once we unlock it, get Tiki Torch crystals, which is all. And let's swap these. We can make fences, fence gates. We can start making a, a little house today as well. We need metal hinges. I have no idea how to craft metal hinges. But I guess we need to make a forge for that first. And we need to get iron and stuff. Hey, thank you, Johan, for subscribing to the channel. It's awesome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow on Twitch and um, join the Discord, Instagram, Twitter, etc. If you want to see more. All right, let's see. We got this treasure map. Uh, let's tell him that we are ready to find treasure. I am ready. Uh, great, let's go to it. My research says it will be buried in a, at a ruin made of titan stone. The titan stone ruins. The titan stone ruins. Titan stone is unbreakable, but that is okay. We won't need it. Treasures like this one, like this one, will were blocked by the ancients. We will need to prepare before we seek to before we seek the treasure at the titan stone ruins. You will need to create a shovel from the builder's bench. You need to dig for the treasure, right? While you do that, I will put together something special to help you with the puzzle. Cool. Alright, so I need to craft myself a shovel first. So, for a shovel... We need... I'm not quite sure why a shovel isn't weapons. I feel like that should be... It's own little little tab, like a tools, like weapon and tools. But you know, it's fine. Um let's see. Shovel. We need three branches, seagrass, and hardened shell. I think we have branches in here. Uh no we don't. I am a liar. I am a liar. We do not have those. Let's get three branches here. Uh, come on. There we go. You don't get a whole lot of them. Oh, yeah, baby. Alright, let's eat those coconuts. We need water. Eat those berries. We need those as well. Let's eat the sea anemone. 25, plus 25 hunger, plus 10 health. Awesome. We have another sea anemone. Let's cook that one, actually. Um, ba -ba -ba, cinnamon, put logs in there. And after that, let's uh, cook the meat as well. We might as well do that while we're at it. We're gonna need lots of food to survive here. Takes a little while to cook it all, but that's fine. Not a big deal. As I said earlier, once you get better, like, fire places and stuff, you will be able to cook multiple at the same time. This is just a temporary thing in the beginning. This is more like a tutorial island. You have to start unlocking things here. Then you move on to a next island. And learn even more stuff. It's pretty cool. Alrighty then. We have dead rats. Uh, let's organize this a little bit. That there. Put that there. Treasure map. We have an empty bottle. We will need more empty bottles as well. Hopefully we can find a couple of them soon. Uh, let's collect these logs. Possible. Alright. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, what do we need again? We needed a couple of tree branches. I forgot how many. My mind is all over the place. Right, we have enough. We need more seagrass. 15 of them and we need one hardened shell all right seagrass is easy I've seen that before that's really easy to obtain just smack a couple of these and you'll have enough 
Oh, you can hurt your... Um, you can hurt those things as well. You can damage it. Up all the seagrass. Go. That should be enough. And let's find ourselves a Krabby Crab. Oh, there, there is one. We found him. Thank you guys for the 40 likes already. That's awesome. 31 people watching over on YouTube and one on Twitch. Probably our trusted Twitch follower, Drag. If you'd rather watch on Twitch than YouTube, that's totally fine. You can use the link that uh, that Nightbot posted like a couple of minutes ago, the Wu link. That will send you to a site which has all of my information, my YouTube, my Twitch, Discord, Instagram, Twitter. So if you want to follow me in any of those or watch the live stream on Twitch instead, then you can use that link. Let's see. I think we have enough, don't we? No, we don't have the shell. Did it drop? Inventory is full. That's why I didn't drop fine sand all right we need to drop these locks for a second and we need to find ourselves another crab oh look at that titan baby look at that titan in the distance and the water washing over the sand is that the right word for it washing over i think it is at least that's how we would say it in in the netherlands i guess like a similar word. <laughs> Literally translated. There we go. Now we got a hardened shell. Look at that bad boy. Creating huge waves. It's not as bad as before. I watched some gameplay on other people streaming the game a little earlier. Like a couple of weeks earlier. And um, that, that back then, he created some massive waves. But now it's not that bad. Do we have inventory space for that? Um, let's get rid of that mushroom coral. I'd rather have more of these things. I like those shards. I want more of them. And we need more of them later on. Let's see, we have yeah two hardened shells. That is more than enough. We only need one. Uh, let's go back to the archaeologist. Where was he? Over there? Yeah, I think it is. I can see some structure there in the distance. I think that is where we need to go in a minute. Hey, Sebastian. Little late, but you made it. Yeah, that's right. That's fine. That's okay. All right, let's craft ourselves the shovel. Uh, where was it? Right there. Craft the shovel. We don't have inventory space for it. Um, all right, that's fine. I'd rather have the shovel anyway. And now, let's go and talk to this guy. Were you able to craft the shovel? Yes, I did. Oh. I have so much stuff. Everything just being thrown on the ground. Uh, now it's time to find the treasure. Here, I made some refined yellow crystals, a common block the ancients used to that the ancients liked to use is burying relics underwater. A common block the ancients like to use. I don't understand this, but whatever. Uh, so you may need to use refined yellow crystals to push the water away before you were able before you are able to use the shovel to dig for the relic. Sounds good. All right, let's uh, access this little crate here. Let's put some things away that I don't need. Um, that rats, hardened shell. Uh, I will probably need all the food. All the cooked food anyway. Put this is number two. And now we can pick up these things. Now, what these things do is pretty freaking awesome. You've if you've never seen this game before, 
and you will be very much impressed. If you've seen the trailer, you might know what these bottles do. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you right now. This is what they do. They create like a magical sphere, basically. Which pushes the water back as well. But this is temporary. This is not something that is permanent. It, it will not stay this way. Like it will stay for like, I don't know, like 30 seconds or something. I'm not sure how long. Um, I hope they will add that to the description or something. That would be nice to know. But I think it's like 20, 30 seconds. And then it goes away again. But it is uh, an easy way to move through the water. Instead of using these things here. Which basically do the same thing, but at a smaller scale. As you can see. I mean, that's, that's a huge area. That's awesome. Alrighty then. Let's talk to him again. Now you have everything you need uh, to get the relic from the Titan Stone runes. Use the treasure map to locate the Titan Stone runes. This is what it's supposed to look like. Look out for pirates in the area. They search ruins for treasure as well. Right, so there is actually pirates in the game. Which will uh, try and uh, try and kill you, basically. That's always great, isn't it? We can switch our shovel and our axe. That's good. Our axe will be our weapon. And now, I did have some trouble with this yesterday. But if you are in this at this point in the game... They want you to use the treasure map in your hotbar. Um, so if you do M on your keyboard, it doesn't work. It doesn't show you where the treasure is. But you really have to go into your in your hotbar and press like the, the the right the right number for it. In this case, two, and then it will show you where you need to go. So we need to go pretty much straight ahead, right there. Which I already thought we had to go to. As I saw those ruins before. So um, yeah. Let's just uh, go for a swim. Let's swim over there. And see what we can do. Sergeant Mom. I agree. Booster has great knowledge in English. Thank you. <laughs> I try my best. I try my best. <laughs> Block being used to describe a deterrence to prevent someone from locating. Oh, oh. When I when I think of block, when I think of block, I think of Minecraft placing down a block, like placing down, you know, a, a piece of ground, like. That's what my mind goes to when I hear the word block. I hear like Lego blocks or <laughs> Minecraft placing down blocks or something. Okay, yeah. I, I kind of forgot about that, but blocking is actually like, yeah. Making sure somebody doesn't get something. Right, right. Totally forgot about that. Alright, so now we have a, literally an X marks the spot. So if you did not press the uh, the hotkey for the map, then that X won't appear. You have to use the map in your hotbar. Otherwise, the X on the map and the X right here in front of you, they won't appear. And you won't be able to, um, to progress the story, basically. So what we need to do now... We need to grab ourselves this bottle and let's push the water baby oh yeah there we go and now that shovel let's see where's oh boy i heard something I heard something what's happening oh hi bro that's a mini titan right there how you doing bro All right, let's dig. Ooh, Titan Relic. 
That's fun. Oh boy. The Titan doesn't seem very happy with me picking up that relic. Oh, and the spiders are here. Oh god. We have activated... End of the world. Spiders have spawned in. Oh no. The worst enemy of the game. Spiders. Alright, let's switch those out. I would like to have that in my... First slot. Thank you very much. Those spiders can go through water as well, by the way. So, going into the water, that isn't gonna help you. What is this? Greystone? That's new to me. Alright, let's, uh, let's wreck these fools. Or get wrecked by the fools. That's also an option. Oh. Come on. Ugh. Oh, baby. Okay. I like that they just splash. Like. <laughs> That's awesome. Really cool. Ah. Why does it have to be spiders? Yeah, indeed. I'm not a big fan of me there, Linda. Can we jump up? Yeah, we can. Alright, so we don't need to go here anymore. Oh, looks like the uh, big titan destroyed smaller one that's awesome i don't know if those have a have a specific name to them not sure uh let's see where is the archaeologist again uh down that way yeah i could see it from here yeah but the titan was not very happy with uh, me getting that relic Instantly wanted to destroy my face. And pretty much anything else in its way. I believe spiders will start spawning now as well. At night time especially. That's what I noticed yesterday. Now let's talk to this guy. Hmm. <clears throat> Treasure hunting in the field. Did you find the Titan Stone ruins yet? They are around here someplace. Keep looking. Remember to use treasure map 1 I gave you. If they are deep in the water, you can use the refined yellow crystals I gave you to reach them. Then it's time to dig. Yes, I did all of that. You're back. I was, I was worried that the Titan might have killed you when I saw that attack. What did you find? Oh my, this is incredible. I've never seen a Titan Relic before. Some say they are powerful beacons, others say they are powerful weapons. Everyone agrees they hold incredible power. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! There are structures called Titan Gate Ruins found on some islands. Activating these ruins will block escape paths of the Titans. We know this because of clues left behind by the ancients. There may be a connection between the Titan relics and the Titan gate ruins. I need to think. I need time to think. Come talk to me when you are ready for something else. Sounds epic. Sounds cool. Alright, that's awesome. Now let's see. What can we do in the meantime? I can literally immediately go ahead and talk to him. About whatever. Um, but I don't really want to do that. I would like to try and craft some stuff if possible. I don't think we have access to bamboo yet. I think that's on the second island. Boat tar. I think you can get that by shoveling the, the sand. Just like cannonballs and water bottles and stuff. Hey, D. Gray, thank you very much for the super chat. D. Gray donated 20 dollars through super chat. All of the time. All of the time. Thank you very much for the 20, man. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Thanks for being here. You blame the institution all of the time? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. 
Very welcome. Yeah, thank you, man. That's awesome. Thank you guys as well for the 45 likes and 35 people watching right now on YouTube. That's amazing. A lot of people here enjoying the game, hopefully. Let's see. Redstone. Yeah, let's see if we can upgrade to a better axe. Chop damage 4, chop damage 5. Redstone. What we need for that. I think that's just those those rocks we can see over there. Not sure. Let's see if we can smash those rocks with this axe. Nope, don't think so. Doesn't seem like it's doing anything. We got Botar. Awesome. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about these mussels. Get raw mussels. Uh, let's eat a couple of coconuts. Pick up the mussels. A whole bunch of them. Because those obviously provide hydration and hunger as well. That's awesome. Booster mm. in chat. It's lunchtime. Wish I could stay. We'll catch you all later. See you. Uh, we'll catch you up. We'll catch up. See you later. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here and have a wonderful lunch. Um, uh, okay, so these rocks we cannot break down. I think that must be on the second island as well. Which we should honestly just try and go to. Oh god. I have to drop something. Or eat that. There we go. And then... Um, The berries, a bunch of them. There we go. Got some bones. Beautiful. Now, the only thing I haven't found yet, which we are gonna need, is gold. We need to get a bunch of gold, what we need. Uh, oh no, I didn't mean to talk to him actually. My bad. I think it's time to get you off this island and search for the Titan Cage ruins. To get off this island, normally I would use a boat, but you don't have a boat, so you will need to build a flare to call a trader to the island. They will be more than happy to transport you to a different island for a price. Here I will teach you how to make a flare. Uh, you, should, you, you should find it in your base crafts after you learn it. Gather supplies from around the island to create a flare from your basic crafts. That's good. Now we can make a boat flare right here with a fire coral and yellow crystal. Uh, Booster, do you use a theme software for streaming? Just curious. Uh, theme software? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, like a background thing? Or... Um, uh, let's see. What should we do next? We can get the boat flare, but we also need, as I said earlier, we're gonna need some gold. This in here, we won't need it. Stack that. Stack that. There. Bones. Titan relic. Get back in there. Oh. Alright, well, well, we'll keep that there then. Um, polished. The map. Do we still need the map? I don't think so. Don't think we'll ever need that map again. So I might as well actually cook this meat, put the map back in there because we won't need it. Put the boat star in there because we don't have access to boat yet. Boats yet. And then let's cook the meat. There we go. Yeah, for the intro music and icons. Uh, no, I, I used 
do have a theme. Um, I think it was like Facebook hexagons or something, but not anymore. This is uh, this is custom made by um, by Chef Dave. Some of you guys might not know him. I don't think I have a link for him anymore. Uh, I might. Not sure if that one is going to work or not. Otherwise, I do have a link to him on my channel page of YouTube. Uh, under like um, awesome friends or like, I don't know, the, fr the friend section. Uh, if you just skip, f if you just scroll through that, it should be um, there, his channel. But he made that for me. He made like the, the background of the starting soon uh, screen and all that stuff. Uh, as well as the um, the webcam overlay. He did that as well. Okay. Yes, let's find some gold. Let's go and explore. I want those. Oh, actually, I might need those bottles. Because if I have those bottles, if I have those yellow crystals... I should be able to make myself refined yellow crystal and have more of those to throw around yes awesome so we're just gonna go ahead and explore for a little bit now let's go this way let's open up some of those crates there might be some good stuff in there there might be useless stuff in there I don't know, but we'll find out. Won't we? Get those muscles, please. No? There we go. Ooh. Cool looking boat. Oh, found a bottle. Not a bottle. Something hidden in here? Don't think so. There's a lot of crates around here. A lot of bones, coconuts, water bottles. That's good. We need all of that stuff. Yeah, it looks like the, the link isn't working anymore. I thought I still had it active in Nightbot, but I guess not. Or Nightbot isn't working. And I tried logging into Nightbot earlier today, but the, the website didn't work. So I'm not sure if it actually is working. But yeah, you should be uh, you should be able to find him in my featured channels stuff. Oh, look at that! There's smoke. Is it there? Oh yeah, I see somebody walking there. I think we have an enemy. I think we have an enemy right there. Multiple enemies. Multiple tangos. Can we get him? Can we get him? I think we can. Where's my parrot? <laughs> They're talking to each other. Oh, they have a bow. I don't think I can take them yet. Should we try it, chat? Should we, should we fight them? I'll let you guys decide whether I fight them or not. I'm too close. I'll go around him for now. I'll get these crystals first. Maybe, maybe the ocean will take him out if I remove these crystals. <laughs> or the ocean will take me out. Oh god. If you go too deep, by the way, there's also going to be sharks that are going to attack you. You want to watch out for those. Can I please have those? Thank you. Is 
Man, look at these waves. Oh. Oh, we got some bad boys. We got some bad boys. I, I just want this crystal, sir. I don't want any trouble. I, I literally... I just want this crystal. That's all I want. Honestly. I... I really just want that crystal. Thank you. Oh no, I'm stunned, I'm stunned, I'm stunned! Stunned! Alright, run. Run. Take some water. Get some more food, because that will heal me a little bit. Alright, yeah, Renee wants me to fight him. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, let's take out the archer first, I guess. Let's go. Oh. He has good aim. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. And I have terrible aim. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my. No, 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 no. No. Run. Run! Crap, take him out! Yar! Crap, you gotta help me! Crap! You gotta help me, bro! Crap, you gotta help me, bro! Come on! Come on, bro! Take him out for me! No? Okay. That's not great. That's not great. Let's just do this. Maybe that will stop him somehow. No? Is there a treasure chest? Pick up the cooked meat. I, I need a treasure chest. Do you guys have... Treasure chest? You guys have a cannon. You guys are pirates, right? I mean, we're talking about ferrets and and Yahar and all that stuff. So, you guys must have a treasure chest somewhere. Plenty of bottles, of rum, empty ones, might I add. You've got you guys been drinking way too much, dude. Way too much alcohol for you guys. Unbelievable. Another one. Look at that. I can't even carry all the bottles. That's how many you guys have drunk. They're just gonna run after me for like eternity, are they? Ah, oh, okay. We got away. Yeah, look at the water. Look at the water. Sand slowly changing color because of the water, because it's wet. And then it's slowly gonna turn back to dry sand after. Ah. It's so freaking amazing. It looks fantastic. Alright, no treasure chest. No luck there. Uh, let's see, we need health. And we need it quick. Get all that cooked meat. I don't think we get health from eating and drinking enough. I think we just need to get help from like specific types of foods. We got a lot of bottles. Hey, Stormy. 
Yeah, we need that coral. We need that coral for uh, for the flare. So let's get this. Boom, baby. Why does this keep changing? I want that to be there. Thank you. Get the fire coral. I think we only need two of them, but let's get a little more. Thank you. And don't think we need anything else from here. Let's get back. Looks like the water is rising. Oh, there's the big boy. There's the big boy Titan. Hey, we finally found some gold. About time. Get rid of the cannonball. Don't want it. Uh, empty. Can't pick it up. Let's eat some mussels. Can we use those treasure maps? That's ruined. So I guess it's just good for the fire, I suppose. Yeah, let's get rid of it. I'd rather have another bottle than, uh, than one of those. Get all the crates that we can find. Could be some good stuff in there. We can use for later. And we need many of these crystals. We sent Chef, Chef, Chef Dave a message in Insta. To see if he could help me. We shall see. Yeah, I think he uh, he would be willing. Um, I mean, I know he is very, very busy. Because I think he has two jobs as well. I'm not sure if he still has that. But yeah, he's pretty busy. But he might respond. I haven't talked to him in a long time because I'm quite busy as well doing all of this. He has a YouTube channel, as I said earlier, but uh, yeah, because of the jobs, he hasn't been uh, able to stream anything for a while. He usually likes to do ARC. That's what uh, he did most of the time anyway. this supposed to be like a whale skeleton or something it doesn't really look like anything um there we go another bottle we have so many bottles we are we are probably never gonna need that many but you know, it's better to have a little bit too many than not enough. Mm. Don't worry, I offered to pay him. Uh, not for fee, etc. And I subbed him. Good, good, good. Yeah, I, uh, I, um... Thanked him for his uh, service as well. By, uh... He, he, di he didn't want me to pay, to pay anything because we, like, knew each other. But I was like, come on, you've done so many... Like things. Um, I would feel bad to not give you anything for it in return. And he helped Thurston as well. He made like Thurston's, I think, logo and his intro. So if you know Thurston and uh, you've seen his intro, Jeff Dave made that as well. So he's pretty good with uh, with all of that stuff. He's pretty awesome. But we have more awesome people in the community. Like uh, Kelson can do things like that as well. I think she enjoys doing that. And uh, Indrid, I think. Yeah, Indrid as well. Yeah. Indrid, aka Smiley Face in Raptor's chat.
Man, we found so many things, but no treasure chests. I know they are around somewhere. I haven't been able to find them yet. That's crazy. Yesterday when I played for like two hours, I found like six of them throughout the entirety of the stream. Or uh, the members only stream. Um... Oh, where are they at? Where are they at, bro? Go to the middle of the map again. Maybe something happened over there. I don't know if things like spawn in like treasure chests. Not sure. It might be underwater as well, actually. I might have to get rid of some water to find a couple of them. So maybe what I should use is I should just go swim and look down if I see any of them. And then I can just throw my uh, my crystal, refined crystal stuff. And I will get it. Ooh, fish. Yeah, baby. We got fish. We got salmon. There we go. Look at that, these crystals are getting rid of the water and the salmon are literally swimming into the dry land. That's useful. Very useful. Let's go swim over here. I need to find myself some treasure. Finding lots of crates, but they don't really have a lot of points. I only found one so far. That's basically nothing. Let's see, where is the archaeologist? Over there. I know that, like, every seed you play in, like, the starter island is different. So maybe there just are not. Any treasure chests? Question mark? Or maybe just a lot less of them? Oh, there's one. And I think I accidentally got rid of my... Of my axe. I think I accidentally threw it. There we go. Yeah, baby. Um, Alright, that just goes everywhere. Um, there's a little bit more over here. I think I saw some this way. Oh, it's in the... Right there. can't get to it. You can't swim down. There we go. Now we got it. Not sure if it was worth it. Spending, uh, spending those bottles. But I mean, we can get this now as well, so... Oh, never mind. Inventory full. I lied. We can't. Hey, flippers. Yeah, I got it, bro. I got it. 
Yeah, I follow all of you guys. Euphorus, Uf uh, Raptor, First, etc. Ultimately, I want to pay respect to all of you guys for help. And all your channels show respect, etc. Once some streaming. Good, good, good. Yeah, we finally got access, flippers. I finally got it. I got it last night. I did a little members only stream for uh, anybody who would like to watch it. Then uh, you have to become a member and uh, watch it. You know? Let's see, we can craft a boat flare. I think we need to craft another crate. I think we can do that. Um, but where? Great. We need seagrass and tree branches. Tree branches. Seagrass. We don't have enough. We're missing one seagrass and three tree branches. Okay, cool. Uh, let's put away the gold for now. Don't want to lose that accidentally. Uh, we have way too many bottles. Way too many. My god. Uh, Alright, yeah. It only stacks up to 10. Every, every single item has a different stack size. Hey, the raptor is here. How you doing, raptor? Yeah, it looks a lot. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I wish they invited mediocre streamers to play. <laughs> they only get the good ones to <laughs> invite it. I guess so. Yeah, I guess only the good ones are uh, are playing this game, huh? I'm one of them. I'm one of the good ones. Kk. Uh, what was I doing again? I was crafting. Oh yeah, I needed three branches and seagrass. Let's get some seagrass. There we go. That's one. And we need three, three branches. There we have it. Let's make ourselves great. Uh, there it is. Let's put that crate right next to this one, I guess. Make it easier. There we go. Hey, just Joe. Another uh, another month of membership. That's awesome. Thank you, Joe. That's amazing. Thank you for the support. The put the boat star in there. Already a boat star in there, so let's. Uh, some more in there. We have yellow crystals in here. No, we do not. Yellow crystals in there. Honestly, what we what I want to have right now, it might take some time to gather, but I want to upgrade my inventory. I want 10 inventory slots instead of 6. Plus 6, plus 10. That's a lot better. I'm gonna go for that one if you guys don't mind. It's gonna take a little bit of time to gather. 63 seagrass, 24 sticks, and 3 hardened shells. But it will allow us to uh, move a lot more quickly. In general. So let's, um, let's go and collect uh, all of those, shall we? Let me see. It would be very helpful... If I had more of these, craft ourselves some more refined yellow crystals. There we go. And let's throw them around. Boom, baby. Let's see, number five. And let's get that seagrass. Um, 
Ooh, homesteading level 3, max hunger plus 10. Ah, that's good. That's really good. Oh yeah, we need glowing mushrooms for something as well. I think for bandages, let's get that. Why not? Um, though not too many, because I need all the inventory space I can get for collecting all these items. All right, let's take this one. Let's take my uh, torch here. And let's put it over here. We have another one. Let's take the second one. We'll work a little bit more efficiently. Ba -ba -bum. Put it over there. Unfortunately, you cannot pick these ones up and put them in your inventory yet. Um, I believe the developer mentioned that these ones probably you will never be able to put in your inventory again. But the ones that you will be able to craft, you might be able to pick them up later. I don't think that's in the game yet. Being able to pick up the ones you craft yourself. But I think he mentioned that he will make it like that. Which uh, which is good because it is a little annoying having to go back and forth moving these things. Just a tiny bit. There we go. Yeah, baby. Displace that water. Oh, I didn't mean to shovel there. <laughs> I wanted my axe. That's what I wanted. Not a lot of seagrass over here. I thought there was going to be more. I might have to move my operations elsewhere. Let's see. Looks like there's a little bit over here. Oh, didn't mean to move that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Wow, look at that. Look at the sun on the on the wet sand. That's beautiful, man. Really cool. Oh, there's lots of seagrass over there. Oh, there's a Titan. Hi, Titan. How you doing, bud? Good to see ya. Actually, not really, but... You know, just trying to be polite. There we go. There's lots of the stuff that I want. Lots of the seagrass. Oh, inventory full. Oh, no. Um, empty bottles. There we go. That's better. Then we can carry a little bit more. Um, might have to go back and forth a couple of times while gathering all these resources. Because we're not going to be able to keep it all in my inventory while picking up other stuff, looks like. Let's see, we have 10, 40, um, 50, 60. We needed like 63, didn't we? I'm not sure if we have that amount right now. We can gather a couple more. But I think actually we should have enough after this. Enough seagrass anyway. Then we just need to collect some more sticks. And then we will be able to craft our uh, better backpack. Which will allow us to have more stuff with us the whole time. Let's go back toward the, to the archaeologist. Thank you guys for the 51 likes, by the way. That's amazing. In uh, one and a half hour time, 51 likes. That must be a record for me. That's awesome. 
Put this one over there just because we can. That's why. Uh, let's pick up that one as well. Don't want to lose them. Let's make sure I have them like approximately the same location. We can't lose them. We can make our own. But you know, I'm Dutch. I, I like free stuff. So yeah. Okay, we're working towards this one. Oh, we have 69 seagrass. Nice. Nice. Very good. Very good. Awesome. So let's put these in. Great. We cannot shift click them in there yet, I believe. Or if we can, I don't know the correct buttons for it. Um, but that's fine. Put all of these in here for now. Titan relic, cards, almond. Everything we don't need right now. And then what did we need to grab? Branches. Sticks. We need sticks. Sticks and hardened shells. Do we have some of those? We have seven sticks. We have one hardened shell. And we don't have anything else of that, I think. No. So let's just uh, smack a couple of these bushes. To give us berries and sticks. Uh, would you get out of the way, sir? I don't know. Can I hit you? Looks like I cannot hit you, which is a good thing. Uh, no, I, I don't try to speak to you. I was just trying to pick up these berries, sir. You're little... No, stop it. <laughs> stop it. I don't want to talk to you. I don't like you. The only person I want to talk to is chat. That's the only person. Um. Oh, there's a rat. A dead rat. Dead rats are the best rats. No, I told you, sir. I do not wish to talk to you. Uh, we got 18. We need a little bit more. We're almost there. Oh, it looks like we're very hungry. Oh, boy. Uh, let's eat my berries. There we go. That's good. Luckily, we were already collecting berries and sticks. That helped me out there. I didn't really keep an eye on my hunger in the first meter there. Um, for anybody who just joined in... We are right now collecting resources to get uh, a better inventory, to get a better like backpack, basically. And after that, we're going to move on to the next island, which will have a lot of new stuff. It's going to be interesting. There we go, dead rats. Love them. I love them, especially when you can use them to fuel the fire pit. A little bit of time, but that's okay. There we go, last one. Should be enough fuel in there to go finish it off. There we go. If you would like to wishlist this game on Steam, all you have to do is type exclamation mark BW. So booster and then W, BW. And um, then Streamlabs will post a link to either the Discord of Breakwaters and to the Steam page of Breakwaters to wishlist it if you wish to do so. I am in the Discord of Breakwaters as well. You will see my name quite often appear in there as i am uh, trying to be active in there and helping people out who are new and everything so if you wish to join the discord there and say hi and let them know that you know i'm supporting the game by sending you guys over there as well then uh, yeah 
Exclamation mark BW. Took that one as well. Why not? Can you sail between islands? Um, right now, we cannot sail ourselves. We do not have the ability yet to make a boat. But I am right now working on... Well, not right now. Right now I'm working on the, the better inventory. But after that, we're going to make a flare. And with that flare, we will be able to signal a trader. And you can trade items for for gold and then the gold you can spend on buying basically a ticket to the next island so you can you can pay them money and then they will bring you to the second island um, if you pay them enough that is right now the only way to travel but i have heard um, that they are working on boats like right now or in the near future so yeah, stay tuned for that. They, they are updating it quite well. Like every one or two days, they have like a little, a little bug fix, a little update. They're doing a great job. I, I really think the developers are uh, are awesome. They're doing a good job at building the game. And they take a lot of suggestions as well. I notice, which is obviously amazing. It's always good when developers do that. When they ask the community what they want and they actually implement stuff like that or, or try to listen to them. Uh, oh, we don't have enough hardened shells yet. Alright, let's get a couple of crabs. We just need some more hardened shells and that's it. Um, let's see, crabbies. Here they are. Sir, would you stand still? Thank you. There we go. There's one hardened shell. Not sure why we didn't get one from the other. Every, I guess it's like a 50% chance or something. Maybe a little more. There we go. There's the second one. Or the, the third one, I should say. These things, by the way, these blue things, they have water inside them. I'm not quite sure how to use them yet. I don't think that's implemented yet. But you can damage it and then water will float out of it. I believe later on you should be able to grab the water with the bottle or something. I'm not sure. That's what I heard people say. I'm not sure if that is correct though. So don't quote me on that. Or don't expect that to be in the game. Because it's only what I've heard and I don't know if it's true. Um, let's make ourselves the cloth backpack now the, the actual backpack oh, now we have the, the net bag cloth bag and the backpack the backpack is unobtainable uh, as you can see in the crafting recipe it requires unobtainable which basically is a um, is a placeholder item so you won't be able to craft that yet that will probably be craftable like an early access, I would say. I'm not sure, once again, but... Alright, let's um, equip the cloth back. There we go, a couple more inventory slots, that's awesome. We can switch it out. Well, let's put the old one in here, I guess. Just in case we lose the other one. <clears throat> Doesn't hurt to keep it, right? And let's see. Do we need more food? We have a couple of berries. Let's let's take everything that I think I will need with me. Because I need to craft a couple of things. I don't think I need botar or cannonballs. Because we because we can't um, make boats yet, so we won't need that, probably. Not sure if I will need a treasure map, but I will take it with me. Oh, we are very low, by the way, on hunger. Eat those berries. And that cooked meat, there we go. 
We need to get ourselves some water. Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. Beautiful. And then let's use the bandage to heal up a little bit. How do you craft bandages? I forgot. I think I needed the glow mushroom and something else. A glow mushroom and kelp. Kelp can be found on the second island, so we can't get that yet. But that's where we're going right now. Uh, so I need yellow crystals. Do I have a couple of those? No, I use them all. Can I interact with this chest? Thank you. I need those coins. I think I might need this. I'm not sure. I'm just going to take as much as possible because we all need to sell some stuff as well, I think, to get across. I don't think we have enough gold yet. Yeah, so we need yellow crystals. Let's go gather a couple of them. Let's see if we can find some. Should be plenty around. There's one. And I see another one over there. Ooh, there's a storm coming, looks like. And thunder in the distance. There we go. Get these. Need a couple of them because I think these are worth quite a bit. So we might as well get a couple of them and maybe sell them. Not all of them, but hopefully we can sell a few. Oh, look at that Titan, man. Awesome. Go a little closer towards him. I see there's a crystal there because there's some oh no those are my uh, my torches crystal tiki torches but it's quite easy to uh, to spot those crystals because you can see the you know the, the water is a little bit weird at some places i i just want to get this thank you oh i can see a treasure chest in the corner of my screen that's good Get that treasure. Yeah, that's a lot of gold. What happens if I destroy the chest? I wonder if it's going to give me something. Let's see. Going to give me something? It takes forever to destroy it, so it better give me something. Come on, bro. Oh, water is coming in. Can I break it in time? Oh, it gave me plus 100 adventuring. Alright, that's cool. So it gave me experience points for uh, destroying that. So I guess it is worth it. Not quite sure what it does yet. But I am sure there will be some sort of skill tree or whatever in the future one day or maybe research something like that i imagine i love the bioluminescence it looks amazing if you swim in the water you will also see light up that's amazing Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Go. Oh. It is sometimes a little hard to uh, to swing thing, swing at things, because you have to face your character with W A S D, like. Your character doesn't change the way he, where he looks by, by, you know, dragging your mouse. 
He only like goes to where your WASD is pointing at. Also when you're swinging, like if I'm swinging this way, with my character looking that way, then changing the camera won't do anything. I hope they're gonna add something to make fighting a little easier. Like when you swing and you hit a certain button that it like locks onto a target or something. So that he like turns around and starts swinging the other way. I hope they're gonna add something like that. That uh, would be very helpful. I haven't really had much trouble with it yet. Obviously because we haven't been fighting that much. But um, I can already see that that's gonna be for me... A little bit of a problem. Because I am bad at fighting. I'm bad at fighting games. Not gonna lie. I'm the worst. Literally the worst. Literally, actually the worst. These mushrooms as well, by the way. You can see them glowing right now. Um... And if you pick them up now, they're called glowing mushrooms. But if you pick them up during the daytime, they are not called glowing mushrooms. So if you need, for a certain recipe, if you need like a regular, I don't know, regular ocean mushrooms or something. Then you have to pick them up during daytime. But if you need the glowing mushrooms... And you actually need to pick them up at night time. Which is awesome. I like that. There's the second island, I think. I think that is the, the second island we have to go to. Cannonballs. Come on. Get the crap. Hardened shell. Can't pick it up. Get more of these. But these are the last two crystals that I'm gonna get. After that, we're gonna craft the flares. And then we're gonna get off this island and on to the next one. Are you guys excited? I hope you are. You better are. Boat flare. Let's see. Do we have to talk to the archaeologist again first? Uh, let's just go ahead and talk to him. I think we have to do that first. After crafting the boat flare. He's over... Over there. Oh, we went pretty far away. Most of you guys probably haven't seen yet how big the map is. So, you can see on the mini-map... There's different kinds of islands right now. Those are the ones we can access by walking or swimming there now. But if I look here, and I zoom out, this is gonna be the map. I think it might come bigger in the future uh, with DLCs and stuff. I think I heard them talk about that in the Discord. Or I read. I didn't hear it, but I read. But yeah, this is the map. These question marks are most likely islands, I would say. And I'm pretty sure they're going to add a whole bunch more islands to the map later on. But it's all procedurally generated. So every time you play the game, you're going to have different islands. Um, probably different locations, I'm not sure. Oh, the builder's bench looks different now. It has a little back. Wait, did it have that before? Picked up, pick up dropped items. What items are dropped there? I am confused. I don't think it is anything important. Oh well, let's talk to this guy. Um, first, let's eat something. And let's drink something again. Eat something else. 
Let's talk to him. Have you built a flare yet? It's time to leave the island and find new adventures and treasures. Yes. Great. Thank you so much for your help. I will continue my research on this island. I hope our paths cross again. Until then, good luck on your adventure. Fi finding the Titan Gate ruins and taking out the Turtle Titan. Alright, bye. That's fun knowing ya. I guess. Alright, let's gather some stuff. Let's gather some more of those um, pine logs. Pine, pine logs, I mean um, palm logs. Not pine. Pine is on the other island. Oh man, I, I just upgraded my inventory and I already have problems with carrying stuff. Now the reason why I wanted those is because I wanted to cook some fish. Or uh, actually I should cook this first. At three branches. At all the logs in there. We'll probably need all of it. Maybe even more. We'll see how far we get. Hopefully we can cook all of it. So cooked meat gives 45 hunger and 10 health. And the cooked fish gives 5 health and 20 hunger. So fish is a little bit less and it's also a little bit harder to get I would say I mean unless you find find like 10 of them beached on the sand which I did then it's pretty easy to find them I guess but I think the the meat is easier because you just have to smash a couple of bushes and a rat will appear. And if you leave the dead rat on the ground, it will attract more dead rats. Or it will attract more rats, which you can kill. Or more meat. That's a pretty good way to survive, I would say. Alright, the last one, we should definitely have enough fuel for that. That's awesome. Looks like we made it. Mm. 58 likes wow awesome guys that's it that's amazing almost 60 likes in less than two hours can we get the 60 before the two hours that would be amazing and don't forget check out the exclamation mark bw which uh, grimgar posted a little while ago as you can see streamlabs posted a link for the breakwaters discord and the Steam page uh, at which you can wishlist the game is in closed beta right now. But be sure to wishlist it if you uh, enjoy what you're seeing. Because it is amazing. That's why. Alrighty then. Let's go this way, I guess. We need to summon the trader. And to do that, we need to be at a certain depth of water. We need to go out into the ocean a little bit. Not too far, otherwise sharks will come and kill you. Let's see, need to be in water, depth 15. Let's see. Depth 2, 3, 4... As you guys know, I don't like being in deep water where I can't see underneath me. Oh, the Titan is right there as well. That doesn't make it any better. The Titan is right there. Oh, there's a treasure. There are 8, 10, 12. Right, there we go. Summon the trader. There he is. Hey, bud. How you doing? Ahoy! I saw your flare from the depths. Uh, what is it you need? I have goods to trade and I can also ferry you to another island for the right price. But you don't... But you don't get to choose where you go. 
That is my choice. I am the captain of this vessel. Sure. Uh, hello. Would you like? To, what would you like to talk about? Uh, let's talk about shop. All right. I need to buy fire flower seed. Ooh. Tiki torch. Sure. Let's buy one of those. Why not? Let's buy bandages. Might be useful. We can buy iron water. I don't think we really need anything else. Uh, we can sell stuff. Um, no, actually, I think I have enough. Let's travel. 10 gold? Sure. Alright, let's travel. Dive, dive, dive. Where are we going, Cap? Are we going to that island? Or that one over there? Or maybe that one over there? Where are we going? So there's no loading screens or anything. It is literally just you waiting to get there. That's pretty cool. And what also is pretty cool, I see 30 viewers over on YouTube and 60 likes. That's awesome, guys. Thank you very much for all the support. Thank you guys for being here, for becoming members. And ooh, meteorite. Is it gonna hit the Titan? No, the Titan is somewhere else. The meteorite is hitting that island. I'm still not sure if we're going to that one or that one. We're like going in between. I can see smoke there from the meteorite, I think. Please don't open any doors while we are submerged. <laughs> awesome. But yeah, thank you guys for be becoming members, hitting that like button, hitting the notification bell, and just being here in general. I hope you guys are all enjoying the game. Let me take a look at the poll that I made. I had a poll up above in chat saying, uh, would you buy the game upon release? Looks like there is 58 votes. That's awesome. 36% um, says yes, looks great. 10% says yes, but only on sale. 45% can't decide. And 9% says no thanks. All right. Oh, that's pretty good. Looks like a lot of people are enjoying the game. Uh, that is amazing. That's absolutely fantastic. I am glad that you guys like it. Because I like it. And I really hope to play it more often on the channel. So if you haven't hit that like button yet. Uh, and haven't said hi in chat or anything like that. Then uh, you know, say hi. Say you enjoy the game. Hit like. Or uh, write down below in the comments after the live stream say that you uh, enjoyed it i want to see more all right we have arrived on the second island and i can already spot something new underneath some of the trees can you guys see it i bet you can there's blue crystals another thing Which is going to be pretty cool. Cut down a tree. I want to get that blue crystal. Oh. Oh. The red's attacking me. Oh. Oh. Come on. Ah. Alright. Get rid of that branch. Um, I don't really want that. Ugh. Can I eat these? Not gonna clear anything up for me. I can get rid of that pine log. And get the blue crystal. There we go. Um, did you guys see that? I think that... I think that tree was moving. I think that tree was moving. Oh. Yeah, they're in the distance. The blue trees are moving, guys. If that's not creepy, then I don't know what is. That is absolutely creepy AF. Massive mushrooms here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what I expected. An even bigger 
<laughs> little titan. We had the little rock titans with the blue stuff first. And now we have green ones. Which are like double the size, basically. But this must be the red rock which we needed. Yeah. Oh man, there's, there's a lot of them around here. There's boars on this island as well. Looks like, like we have discovered the Titan Gate Ruins. Oh, and there's the slimes. There's another enemy. Alrighty. Looks like we have to put water in here. And water in there. We have to put a crystal in here. Or maybe the relic. Let's see. Can we... Uh... No. Um, or... Maybe we can't do anything with that yet. Maybe we have to put the water in there first. What is this? Titan gates. Most of it has been worn away. But of what... You can make out of. But what you can make out. Titan gates will activate when a large crystal is placed on the pedestal. And it is pointing to the other key location. Whoa. Whoa, what? Right, so the other key location must be the island we were at before, right? That must be to the southeast. So that, that would be right there. Yeah. We probably have to point it that way then. But I imagine we first have to get water here. Hmm. Now I'm not sure how to do that yet. But we'll see. Hello Sparks. Hello Rob. Hello Dom. Hello Quinn once again. Hello. Good to see you all here. Alrighty. Ooh, it's becoming nighttime. I think we need to make ourselves a little base. Um, let's see. I think what would be best is just go back to where we... Big Poop. We found Big Poop, guys. We won the game. We found Big Boop. Uh, we have Bamboo over here. We will need that as well. Something. Looks like a rock with something in it. It's going to be a safe location or is it going to flood the whole time? It might start flooding... So maybe oh but oh, that looks menacing <laughs> that looks terrifying in the distance all right let's build a little little house over here maybe oh there's a chicken oh no they will hurt me they do chickens do not like me in games especially skyrim chickens don't like me i think this is a good spot Looks good to me, right? So, um, let's see. Can we build a builder's bench? We need some seagrass, tree branches. We have a full inventory. We need to either get rid of some stuff or place it down. Peaky torch. There we go. Wow, that's... That's lit up all right. That might be a little bit too much. <laughs> It looks cool. Definitely looks cool. These trees are moving, see? That second one was moving. The one on the left. This one. I'm not crazy, I'll, I'll tell you. I'm not crazy. It really was moving. 
I didn't eat too much seagrass, guys. Um, how much do we have? 17, that should be enough. And now we just need some more tree branches. I think we, yeah, we should drop the blue crystal for a little bit. Let's drop the blue crystal, like, right there. And then we can pick up some um, tree branches. How many did we need? Okay, ten in total. Quite a few. Will these regenerate over time? I feel like I saw the health... Go back up a little. Oh, inventory is full. Alright, we have enough. Builder's bench. Place that bench right there. Awesome. Now we need to craft ourselves another crate or two or three even. Oh, we can make a wagon? Oh, that's even better. Oh, we can't make that yet. It's, uh, you need unobtainable, which is an item that's not in the game, obviously. Hey, Rene. Yep, the trees for sure are moving freaky. Yep. I'm, I'm not crazy. Glad at least one of you guys saw it as well. Let's see. We need three branches and more seagrass for a crate. So I guess let's uh, keep on swinging on these trees. Inventory full again. What did I pick up? Oh, I picked up the... Let's see. Picked up this one again. Uh, and let's also drop the... Yellow crystals for now, I guess. Oh, that looks so cool. Look at that. Luckily, these are not Valheim trees. Will this be single player or multiplayer? It uh, will be sing. Uh, it will. Right now, it is single player, um, but they will add multiplayer. Yes. I don't know the number yet. Even the developers are not 100% sure on how many players they want to have. It's kind of they. They literally said it depends on how stable they can make it. But I'm hoping for uh, just like Felheim, like. 10 people or something that would be amazing but you know that that's just hoping i i don't know we have enough we have 12 and then we need more seagrass i don't have any anything to get the water away from me here we need to craft those Oh, another homesteading level. That's good. We are upgrading. Do, do, do. Sweet fingers crossed. That would be great. Yeah, indeed. That would be great. The developer has a couple of videos on his channel as well, like a showing off multiplayer a little bit. But it's not in this build yet. Like the one that I have access to, we cannot play multiplayer yet. Uh, but it will come in the future, for sure. It just kind of depends, you know, like... How stable can they make the multiplayer? We will see. Uh, what was I crafting again? I was crafting crates, right? Yeah. I would like a crate. I uh, will drop... Nothing. And place the crate right there. Yo. Put everything. 
that I don't need right now. Back in here. Uh, let's drink some water. We can't do that from there. All of that in there. Actually, let's keep the water with me. Why not? Treasure map, I don't think I need. The Titan Relic, I'm not sure if I still need that, but we'll keep it, I guess. And let's keep these. And now, I think we need to get a couple of uh, blue crystals. So I think we need to cut down some of these. Thanks for the links in the description. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I have links to um, the developer's YouTube channel in the description. As well as the Discord in there. I Did I, did I also add the Steam wish list in there? I think I did just before the live stream. Yeah, I think I did. Trying to give you all the information you need for this game. Because once again, I am very excited to play this. And I really hope you guys want to see more of this. Because I want to stay with this game for a while. And I'm not going to be doing only Breakwaters, of course. But you know, every time there's an update, I definitely want to check back in. And uh, support the game, play the game, enjoy the game. So as long as you guys give me that support with the 65 likes, that's uh, that's amazing. That lets me know that I can play this game without any problems, basically. Oh, the tree definitely moved. You, is that actually the trail of the tree moving? Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> that's so cool. I've been told as well that the tree's moving... Um, that will have a bigger meaning in the future. Like it will have something to do with the story, I believe, or something. I'm not sure, but right now it doesn't do anything except moving. But I, I heard that that they're going to do something with that. Something will, will happen with trees moving or I don't know. I really don't know anything. It's only speculations, honestly. Uh, I need more seagrass for more crates, right? Yeah, more seagrass. So let's put these in here for now. Uh, okay, we have blue crystals. We have blue shards. That's two different things. You can actually hear... The trees moving. You can hear the crackling of the trees. Then you can see them moving if you're fast enough. Oh, I saw one moving over there. That one over there. Why not? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see them moving. It's awesome. Oh, one thing we haven't gotten yet is the seaweed. There we go. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, this is breaking waters, all right. Look at that. The power of breaking waters, baby. That's awesome. If that doesn't deserve a like, then I don't know what does. Honestly, I I don't know what else does deserve a like. Amazing game. I feel like I'm... Uh, I mean, I'm not religious or anything like that. But if I think about breakwaters and I see you being able to split the water... I'm thinking about Moses. Like splitting the Red Sea or whatever, right? That's what I'm thinking of. 
And I am absolutely in love with it. Oh, get seagrass. I want it all. Oh, no, no, no. Water's coming back. No. Yeah, the crystal, luckily, is quite powerful. Yeah. Let's do this again. Let's get rid of all the water. For some reason, the the tools keep switching, like in your toolbar, Swi uh, changing places. Not sure what that's about. Every time you, every time you like switch to the bottle, it puts one bottle in your hand, and the other it keeps in your inventory. So you basically need a free slot always. Otherwise, it's going to throw out your axe or your shovel. I hope they will change that a little bit. Because I've almost lost my axe a couple of times. Doing that. Luckily, I am aware of it. But otherwise... Oh boy. <laughs> okay. It, it wore out. That's it. Oh my god. Amazing, man. Alright, we got some kelp now. We got kelp, we got a lot of seagrass. Mushroom coral. We should have enough to create... No, we need... Three branches. Everything in there. Let's try and create a couple of crates. There we go, that should be enough. One. I saw you. I saw you move. That's number two. And then number three we'll do right there. I'm placing them a little bit away from each other. So that I don't... You know, so that I don't accidentally interact with crate I don't mean to interact with. Am I not hurting it? Um. Oh, no, I am. Okay, it, w it was showing the hitbox... Or like the health above this one. Which is weird because it's already cut down. Yeah, that is odd. Not sure if that's supposed to be that way. I will try and remember that. And, uh, and tell the devs. Unless they're watching right now, which is possible, because I did provide them with a link. Uh, see. What are we working towards right now? Oh yeah, if I have glowing mushrooms, which I think I have. Oh wait, how did I do that? I got a crafting recipe on the bottom now. How did I do that? Oh, I press track, maybe? Oh, I did not even see that. That is awesome. Okay, that's really useful. Especially for somebody like me who's very forgetful about things. So... That's cool. Some bandage. And I can see the crafting rest. Not quite sure what uh, what these two mean. 
I guess it just means that there's only two items you need to craft it, and these... And there's like a maximum of four you need to craft certain things. I guess that's what it need, means. Interesting. Uh, let's see. We need the glowing mu coral mushroom. And then we can craft some bandages. Hey, Lucas. Finally break waters? Yeah. Yeah, we can finally play it. If you want to wishlist this on, uh, on Steam, Lucas, if you haven't done that already, you can do exclamation mark BW. And then it will send you a link uh, via Streamlabs with um, the Steam page. And also it will show you a link to the Discord. So if you in are interested in the game and you want to learn more about it, enter the Discord. And that uh, counts for everybody, of course. I am there very often. You can see my name quite often on the right side of the Discord. Because I have like a high level. I talk a lot to people. I try to help people out. I'm uh, like, like, you know, I'm, I'm a real part of the community, I would say. If you have any questions, then uh, go ahead and enter the Discord. And I or somebody else will try and help you out. Um... There we go. Four crates. That should be plenty. I think we should try and um, organize a little bit. Let's see. Let's put all my gold, all my crystals in one place. And maybe all the quest item stuff. We can put the titan relic in there. The blue shards. Um, yeah, that makes sense. To me, anyway. Let's put all the logs, all the branches. Um, three branches. And I guess sticks, but I don't have those yet. There we go. Let's get a couple of sticks. Solve that problem. Oh, there's a rat. Rat, rat. Rat is dead. Rat, dead, redemption. Got him. Totally wrecked. Red Dead Redemption. See, chat, I can be funny sometimes. I can come up with stuff. Every now and then. Uh, let's put all the food in here and the dead rats. I will keep this one with me because we need to eat it soon. Um, can we split stacks? Doesn't look like I can split stack. I know you can... If I throw it on the ground... I guess I can do it like that. And I can put four in there. Cooked fish looks like a like a bowl. That's weird. Um, but okay. Alright, so we got food in there. We got three stuff in there. We got like treasure and crystals and stuff in there. And then I guess we can have like all the sea stuff, like seaweed and kelp. Coral, mushrooms, all that stuff from the ocean in there. Um, bones, I guess, in the food chest as well. Because bones, you know, they come from food source, I would say. Haha, <laughs> Booster, you are deaf skeeto funny. Oh god, no deaf skeetos, please no. We don't want no deaf skeetos. The one does. Uh, I guess we can put some bandages in there as well. And that works. It's not perfect, but it works. We can split stacks like that. For the time being. Um, I'll put those there. 
What about water bottles? Where are we gonna put those? I guess water bottles can, uh, and empty bottles can go in... in the food storage as well. This one. That makes sense, right? I think it does. I think it does. So what should we do next? Let's get rid of this. We don't need to track it anymore. So maybe now we can make a refined blue crystal. Refined blue crystal concentrates into a glass bottle. Highly volatile. Will generate water whenever it is thrown. So we have one bottle. We have these bottles. The refined yellow crystal. Which will push water away from where you throw it. And you have the blue crystals which will create water where you throw it that's pretty awesome does this game support vr play i'm thinking of investing in a better one anyway i i don't know the answer to that i don't think so yet anyway uh, but maybe in the future i i honestly i do not know the answer to that i think i saw the answer in discord someday but i remember what it was let's see we need blue crystals or no we do we need the shards right we don't need the crystals um or do we need crystals crystals are like the whole let's see what do we need looks like we need the crystal itself yeah but those are those ones yeah and then we need empty bottles, which we have as well. Then we can make two of those. So now we have those ones. Now what we can do with those... And it gives you a, uh, a tool tip somewhere else. Let me show you guys. Let me see. Contraptions. If you want the solar still to get water. Because water, if you don't know how to get it, it is it is quite hard. Um, but one, you know, once you find a lot of bottles and crates, it's honestly it's not a big deal. But you can make a solar still to uh, get water. Enables you to fill bottles of water. Solar still only works during the day. And you can see in the crafting recipe... That you require green jelly skin. Now we've already seen those slimes around. Those green slimes. And it says in the description. Green jellies melt in blue crystal water. It basically tells you. That you can throw these water bottles at the slimes. And it will like damage them. It will like melt them. I know there were a couple of them around here. Yeah, there's one here. Hello there, Mr. Slime. Uh, but before we go ahead and fight you, I am very low on health, it seems. Let's get those bottles. Thank you very much. Get that food, water, bandages. Oh boy. There's a big boy. Don't want to fight with him yet. I want to fight those slimes. So hello there, Mr. Slime. Are you interested in fighting me? Oh yeah, looks like you are. That's good, because I want to fight you. Now let me just bring you to this remote location away from all the other enemies. And um... Let's go. Yeah, baby. Alright. Now we gotta kill it before it merges again. Kill it, kill it, kill it before it merges. It'll temporarily be torn apart. If you don't get it in time, it will merge again and become another big boy. There we go. We got it. Got green jelly skin and bones. I don't know how you get bones from a jellified creature. I 
honestly do not understand how that works. But it works. Which is pretty cool. Bum, bum, bum. We have to bring water here. And now we know how. We have one of those bottles, but I don't feel like using that yet. I want to keep something for uh, for another stream, you know. So let's not do this yet. If you want to see what this does, then you're going to have to catch a, uh, a second live stream of this game. Later on. I don't think today. I think today, later on, I will do Prey. Uh, but maybe tomorrow I will do a second one. If you guys like to see that. Because there's much more to do. A lot of building. A lot of other stuff. But yeah. Let's see. Now we have the green jelly skin. We need a redstone. Which reminds me of Minecraft redstone. But it's definitely something else. Um, It's those things. These stones over here. Hopefully it's not too close. Oh yeah, it's too close. <laughs> Alright, bye. Can we get some red zones away from enemies? There's one. Oh. Stop moving. Don't do that. I'm gonna need an upgraded axe right now. But I think I need a redstone for that as well, so... Hi, crap. There you go. Probably the bones of things the slime has eaten. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It might have eaten those boars or something. Or chickens. That makes sense, yeah. Good one. Good one. I like the way you think. Look at all the water. Where is it coming from? I think it is being created by this crystal. See that? Those blue crystals are literally creating small streams of water. You can see how wet it gets. The darker colored grass. That is amazing. Look at that. It's slowly creating more water. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. That is pretty freaking cool. And what was I doing again? Oh yeah, I needed redstone. I needed to find more of that stuff. Uh, there's more over there it looks like. I can see something over there. Something new. Around that rock. Is that just like a... Or a mushroom? Ooh. What is that? Iron ore. We find iron ore in here. Nice. <clears throat> so you have a small chance of gathering iron ore from these as well. That's cool. There we go. This is how pro gamers do it. It's multiple objects at the same time. I think it... Yeah, no. It doesn't uh, share the damage necessarily. Like, I know in Valheim, if you hit multiple trees, it, like, shares the damage between the trees. So if you usually do 40 on a tree, and you hit two of them, you will do 20-20. But in this one, it doesn't count like that. It just does the same amount of damage to both of the trees. That's good. That's good, I like it. <clears throat> and what I like as well is that there's still 22 people watching over on YouTube and 2 on Twitch. And uh, 66 likes on the YouTube side. That's pretty awesome. Don't forget to hit that follow button over on Twitch if you're watching there. Or uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
if you are enjoying Breakwaters and many other games like Bellheim, uh, Prey, and uh, you know, basically all open world survival games like these, Green Hell for example. It's a little bit more hardcore of course, but that's a game I enjoy and I play on the channel. Boom. I have to do a lot of left clicking here. Looks like I have to upgrade my, uh, my axe soon. I think I have the materials right now, so I might as well, after this one, stop it. And um, go and upgrade my tools. Or at least my axe. Don't know if there's anything else I can get new. I know you can get spears and stuff. And bows. I haven't really looked into it yet. Alright. <clears throat> um, yeah, the stone axe. We need sea grass and two sticks. Sea grass. Sticks. And a better axe. And now we can make an iron axe after that. So the regular axe does four. Yeah, we have five damage. The iron axe does seven. So that is a big upgrade. We already have <clears throat> we already have three iron ore, and we need six to upgrade to an iron axe. Looks like we don't have to smelt it. Uh, which is a little odd. But maybe that will be a thing in the future. I hope so. Make it a little bit harder to get the Iron Axe. But now I guess we can get rid of the... Uh, we can get rid of the... Hardened Shell Axe. And we can get the Stone Axe instead. There we go. Do a little bit more damage. How are we doing on food? We gotta eat something. And need some more water. Our health isn't really going up all that. Looks like the only way now to get health is by eating uh, cooked fish and meat and stuff. Or by bandages. But it isn't, isn't healing you a whole lot. You need a lot of bandages to heal. Heals 25. You need quite a few of them. That's alright though. Can we craft more? I think we use all of it. Um, in this one. If two more of that. Oh yeah, we don't have the glowing mushroom uh, coral anymore. Right, yeah. We need to wait till it's night time before we can gather that. So you really gotta prepare as well. You gotta make sure you get everything from the night time, like the glowing mushrooms. For the next day, basically. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to craft those uh, bandages. But what you can also do is you can summon the trader by making uh, that flare, the boat flare. And then you can buy bandages from him. But that's going to cost you. That's going to cost you a little bit of money. Stop moving around, you creepy trees. Stop it, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Not like you. Now, what was I doing? I kind of forgot what I was doing. Uh, oh yeah, I was talking about an axe. Let's see. I guess we can just look for more iron ore. And we can get sticks and seagrass. And we can upgrade to an iron axe instantly. We can throw away this, uh, this stone one pretty quickly. We need to get these. 
mushroom cap. Not sure what we can use those for. Cap used in various simple recipes must be prepared, must be prepped for cooking. Prepped before cooking? You need something to prepare it before you cook it? Oh, hi, bro. Oh, you're helping me out? You're helping me out cutting that tree? Oh, that's very nice of you, bro. Oh, yeah, I, I very much appreciate your help. That's awesome. Thank you so much. You are a great help. I appreciate you being here. You're an awesome member of this community. I bet you liked the live stream and subscribed to the YouTube channel, followed on Twitch. I'm pretty sure that you also joined the Discord to uh, be aware of all the live streams or other announcements that are made in the Discord. And that you follow me on the Instagram and Twitter where I usually post like when I'm live streaming or about a new game that's coming up or stuff like that. Yeah, I bet you are a great member of this community. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Alright, bye. I thought I saw some iron. Oh yeah, there's some. Not sure if he can reach me from here. Oh, yeah, he can. Oh, he's, he's gonna help me out mining this too. Man, this person is just... This golem is so awesome. He's helping me out with... Oh, hey, hey, sir, that hurt. All right, that hurt. I did not approve of that. I did not approve. Sir. Stop it. Stop it. I can throw things too. All right, didn't do anything. Didn't do anything. All right. Well, at least I tried, right? Alright, let's just uh, gather everything that, that we got. Oh, we can slide if we press E. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> ah! Oh, well, that's awesome! Woo! Like serving on the land. How much iron did we get? We got six. That's plenty, actually. I think that is all we need to uh, get an iron axe. You like that, Sebastian? <laughs> See. Iron axe. So, yeah, now we all only need some more seagrass and sticks. All right, let's get on that. Sticks are, sticks are uh, easy. Oh, there's the rats of death with their red eyes. Red eyes, red dragon. Red, red eyes. Do we not pick up the berries? I want to pick up the berries. Let's drop this. I need the berries for food. Do we have enough sticks now? 12? I think that's enough. And then all we need is more seaweed, right? Or sea grass, it's called. Yep, sea grass. Uh, we basically need no stone at all. Let's do this stone and trees, because otherwise we need another crate, and I really don't want to do that. I really don't want a million crates right now. Let's put the sand in there as well, sure. Uh, no, no, no. Let's do that in the, like, ocean chest. Sand, hardened shells. Let's do those in there. Uh, mushroom caps. Sure, let's do them in here. Let's just do this, like, nature stuff. Like, not trees and stuff, not logs, but, like, all the, all the kelp and seagrass and all that stuff. We got, we'll put in there. And mushrooms and such. That makes sense, right? I think it does. Drink water. Eat berries. 
And then let's get some seagrass. I think... How much did we have in here? Only five. We need like 12. Oh, I forgot. We can make the solar still as well. Let's get... Let's make that first. I, I honestly... I have it... I have it down there, but I didn't even notice it. Uh... I... Ah, I interacted with the wrong chest. Let's make a solar still. Oh, and we can make a fire pit. Let's make both. Let's make a fire pit first. The solar still. There we go. Big upgrades. Big upgrades for your Dutch boy here. Let's do the fire pit right there. Let's do a solar still. Um, behind the workbench, I guess. And then we can put a bottle there. Yeah, we can. And it will slowly start filling up. 30 water equals one bottle. Cool. Slowly start filling up. Awesome. So is this the standard fire pit? Yes, it is. But now that we have crafted it ourselves... It means we can start crafting the roasting pit, which will be better. We can make a water pump later on in the game and water pipes. We can't make those yet, since there's obtainium in there. An obtainium, I mean. <laughs> but yeah, we can't craft that yet. But uh, I think that's coming soon as well. Shouldn't, be, shouldn't have to wait much longer for that. Maybe like a week or so. Maybe two weeks max. Probably less, honestly. Um, let's see. Pine logs, seagrass. Uh, and I also needed... I was building something else. I was building the iron axe, wasn't I? Yeah, let's uh, track that. Otherwise, we're going to forget about that again. So we need more sticks again. There we go. We almost have enough sticks. Got enough. And then we need seagrass. Let's get the seagrass. Otherwise, we're going to forget about it again. A lot of seagrass here. Don't have enough yet. Almost. Almost have enough. Um, yeah. Now let's see if we can craft ourselves an Iron X. Big upgrades. Big ol' upgrades. Iron X. Ooh, next we can make... A sea crystal axe, which we need a large yellow crystal for. I have not fi found those yet. I'm not sure if those are in the game. Sea crystal axe. An axe with yellow sea crystal for its hat. Displaces water around it. Are you kidding me? Are you going to have an axe that displaces the water while you're walking around? Oh, that would be awesome. I wonder how powerful that is. I don't know if this is in the game yet. I don't know if the large yellow crystals are in the game. I haven't seen them yet and they look a little different. That's awesome. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Now let's get the iron axe in there. And let's put the, uh, the stone one back in there. We won't need it. For a while at least. Until we lose our iron one. Alrighty. And let's track the roasting pit now. Because that's going to be a big upgrade from this fire pit. We can just destroy the fire pit. And um, make something better. Get some more sticks. Oh. 
There we go. That rat. We have plenty of sticks, look like. Not of plenty, I mean. Yeah, we have enough. Let's get a little bit more. It doesn't hurt. Also because we're getting more berries from uh, those bushes. That really doesn't hurt. Get a little extra. Because berries are life. Berries and coconuts are life in the beginning of the game. You can't get coconuts on this island. Because this is all pine trees. Because in the first uh, starter island. You start off at. Which is down there. This is where we are now. This is where we were before. That is where you can get coconuts. And that's basically how you survive. Otherwise, you're gonna die out of you know, need of uh, water. Die from thirst. Basically. Need a couple more. There we go. Now we're full again. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We got plenty of sticks. We need more seagrass once again. We need seagrass for everything, man. It's crazy. Absolutely bonkers what it is. Yes, I have become an Englishman all of a sudden. Is that an English saying? I have no idea. Might be American. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to talk and say stuff. That wor words are hard, man. Words are hard. It's hard saying words and thinking words and all that stuff. Oh, I need to get that. I need to get that. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. Beautiful. Oh, my God. Look at that wave. That's cool. That's really cool. We have plenty of seagrass now. We have more than we need. More than double. We should have the pine logs in the chest. And we should have the redstone as well. Plus we can destroy the campfire that we have already. And that will give us back the redstone that we used. That's plenty. 67 likes. That's awesome. Can we get 69 perhaps? Are there two more people who haven't hit that like button and who can, you know, who can change it to 69 or higher? That would also be good. 69 or 70 or more. That would be awesome. Thank you guys for hitting that like button. Let's see. Let's get that uh, pine locks there. And let's craft ourselves the roasting pit. There we go. The roasting pit. Um, this is the food chest, right? Is it? I don't remember. No. This is the food chest. Yeah, that is the food chest. Let's put the roasting pit on right there. So we can access the food chest easily. By just doing this. Sounds good to me. Alright, so now, instead of one thing at a time, we can cook four pieces of meat at a time. Which is gonna help us out significantly. So much more now. Oh, I'm very low on health. There we go. This should bring us up to 75% again. Let's see. Let's eat some of that. Oh no, we can't do that in the cooking station. Eat a couple of berries. A couple more. I don't think we want to stand in the fire. That usually is not the greatest idea. And let's start cooking. 
Let's put the dead rats in there for fuel. Uh, that's nice, isn't it? 69, dude. I see 68. But thank you guys very much for 69 then. That's awesome. 69 likes. That's, uh, that's all I can ever wish for. That has been my dream, always. For, like, the last year. In, uh, in about 19 days, I have been uploading live streams for a year now. In about 19 or 20 days. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's really cool. You want to be on the channel as a subscriber before the first year. Hit that subscribe button or the follow button now. Can't cook anything else right now. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, so we have to use a lot less fuel now because we're cooking multiple things at the same time. That's amazing. Really helpful. I like it. I like it. Um, put the slime in there, I guess. Now let's put it in this chest, in like the nature chest, I guess. I'm not sure where to put this. I might as well make another chest with, like, miscellaneous stuff. Hey, Tim... T Tim Junior, thank you very much for the follow. That's awesome. Up, up, um. Lol, 69 likes, like 69. <laughs> um. Let's see. What are we doing right now? What can we do? What should we do? Oh, we can make armor. Oh no, we need coconuts for, for the bone armor. Which means we have to go back to the other island. Thank you very much for the follow. That's uh, that's awesome, Tim. Timit Jr. We can make fences with bamboo. Yeah, why not? Let's gather some bamboo and let's uh, let's try and build something. Seen a couple of bamboo around, with loads of enemies around as well. Oh, the bamboo stops the attacks. That's good. Oh, that's beautiful. Ah, the the bamboo is stronger than the rocks. <laughs> oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. Uh, all right, bye. Bye. <laughs> the bamboo is stronger than the rocks. That's amazing. No, oh, he's following me. He does not like me. <laughs> ah, look at this. So cool. So one crystal over there generating water. One crystal over there generating water. Creating this little little lake here. And then the like excess water slowly goes downhill back to the ocean. Pretty cool. Really, really cool. How much bamboo do we have? We have 33. Wow, we are gathering a lot quickly. How much do we get from only two of these? We have 33 right now. Um, is that one? Is it gone? I think, I think it's gone, but it's like a visual glitch. We got 8 from that. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, hey, Virginia. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hope you have a good day. Hope everything went well yesterday with uh, bringing your uh, your kid to uh, summer school, it was. Because the bus didn't show up or something. Oh, we picked up a big poop. A, a pig poop. We picked up pig poop. Alright, let's, uh, let's get all the poop. We can probably use that for farming, I, I imagine.
Oh. Oh. Kill it. Kill it. Kill the slimes. Beautiful. No, 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 no. I want to kill it. Can I not? There we go. We got it. Beautiful. After hit it in the right angle. Nice. We got even more of that slime stuff. Looking good. Looking good. Look at more of that bamboo. Hmm. Oh, they had this week off and they didn't tell. Ah, well, that would explain why they didn't pick uh, pick him up. <laughs> or pick your kid up. That would explain it. But yeah, it might have been useful if they, uh, you know, if they let you know. Instead of having to go there and waste your time, basically. It looks like the blue crystal is generating a, a little bit of blue light. You can see a little bit of blue on the on like the stone over there. And also on the bamboo leaves. You guys might not be able to see it on the leaves, but I do. You can see a little bit of blue light right there on the rock. Iron that's inside this rock it lights up blue. Because of that. Like reflecting the blue light. Pretty cool. We got plenty of bamboo now. 91. That should be enough. And I think now we need seagrass as well. Lots of seagrass. Can you buy it on Steam? No, not yet. It is a closed beta right now. Only Kickstarter supporters. And a couple of content creators have access to the game right now. Oh god. That, that guy is a little bit bigger than the one we encountered before. Just a little bit. He killed that rat. Sir. How dare you kill that rat? That's my job. Oh god. Oh god, he's generating lots of water. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But yeah, this is only for Kickstarters or for content creators. Uh, a couple of them who have requested the key. It will be available in um, in the summer of the Northern Hemisphere, like in quarter three of the year, somewhere. It's what we've been told, but there's no official date yet. It might take longer. It might be earlier. Most likely it won't, but it might. Um, so in the meantime, you guys can enjoy the game on uh, a couple of channels, on both YouTube and Twitch. I'm streaming on both, if you wish to uh, watch on Twitch instead of YouTube, that's possible. Mm. And if you want to wishlist the game, you can do exclamation mark um, BW. So the B from Booster and the W from Wishlist. Hey. Smart. A BW, but also stands for Break Waters, of course, which is the title of the game. And that will, um, that will make Streamlabs send a link in the chat leading to the Steam page, but also a link to the Discord of Break Waters. If you wish to join the Discord, ask about things, um, be, you know, announced a little bit earlier or get the announcement a little bit earlier about the release and all that stuff you can go ahead and um, get more information there you will be able to see me in there as well quite often i'm trying to be active in the uh, breakwater community so if you have any questions i might be able to answer them there as well 
Yes, exactly, Dom. Exclamation mark BW. That will send uh, the link for both the Steam page, the wishlist to the game, and for the Discord. Of Breakwaters. Not my Discord, but the Breakwaters Discord. And if you want to join my Discord, you can do that as well. Every now and then, Nightbot sends a link in the chat. A Woo link. But if you uh, want to speed things up, you can do exclamation mark link. And that should give you a link as well. I'm not sure if everybody can do that, actually. Maybe only moderators. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, links. It's not link, it's links. Indeed, uh, Lucas. You are right about that. You know it even better than I do. I think, oh yeah, you've been using it a couple of times now. Ooh, green glowing mushrooms. Glowing mushroom cap. Ooh. Well, hello. Another new item. We found the other mushrooms. We found the mushrooms before, but these ones are glowing now. But oh, these are also mushroom caps. Glowing mushroom caps. It looks different, but it's just a smaller version of of these big boys, I guess. Uh, let's try and get back to base. There's a treasure chest. I do like treasure, I must admit. Oh man, <laughs> the gold is just thrown everywhere. Um, let's do something funny, which I haven't done yet. Yeet! There we go. That's better. Um, uh, sir. Get wrecked. I think I lost a couple of gold there. What is down there? What are those? I don't have any magical... Darn. I don't have the yellow crystal stuff on me. How is the research or skill tree? Right now, there's no, uh, there's neither of those yet in the game, I believe. We only have the crafting stuff right now. But it does look like there's gonna be a skill tree, because you have homesteading, you have adventuring, and you have exploration. And you do get XP for it, as you can see, you have 200 out of 550, 650 out of 1050, and 1506 out of 1600. And each level grants you... It says each level grants additional hunger, hydration and hunger. I already reported that in the Discord. Uh, but I imagine it means health, hydration and hunger. Or hydration, uh, hunger, hydration and health. I imagine. Because I have noticed that we're, ga that we're gaining health. That must be a, a little glitch. A little vi visual glitch. Which they have to... Uh, work on or just a typo maybe it's just a typo <laughs> let's see we got all that stuff uh, let's put the pig poop in there <laughs> green jelly skins in there And let's make fences. We can only make three of them, really. Oh my god. Gonna... Gonna take, like... A million years to fence an area off. Oh, it does snap. That's nice. Wow. Uh, we have a lot of bamboo, but it's going to take much more seagrass, looks like, to craft these things. Kurt needs 12 each and only 8 bamboo. And bamboo is a lot easier to gather, I would say. 
lot easier than seagrass. Seagrass is quite difficult and you need more of it. Well, that's not true. Look at that. There's so much there. But I feel like bamboo is easier to obtain. We should get a lot of it smashing a couple. And the stack size is much better. I mean, this goes up to like maybe 100. And this one only goes up to 15, 16. Something like that. It uses up a lot of your inventory. Oh. It's flooding. It's flooding. No. Get away from me, crap. Get away from me, Mr. Krabs. I don't want nothing to do with you. Alright, there we go. Max hunger plus 10. I need to get I need to get some uh, some yellow crystal stuff. I need to push back the water using the crystals. But for now, I have enough to create a couple more fences. Looks like I can make at least three of them, maybe four, if I'm lucky. Only three. Uh, no, wait, four. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's nice. You can make it in an angle. Um, let's do it like this then. Oh, it's a little bit floating. That's all right, I guess. Uh, let's go... Like that yeah there we go that's that's quite nice hopefully you can uh, add you can uh, modify the terrain later on maybe or you can just put another fence below it below it to uh so that it doesn't float because a lot of the fence is floating right now oh well it looks nice. I like it. I'm happy with it. And I think... That's where I'm gonna have to leave it for today. I see... An immense support for this game today. That is awesome. I see on my screen 69 likes. That might be 70 then. Because YouTube doesn't always show it correctly. Thank you guys so much for anybody who followed. Anybody who subscribed. Anybody who became a member... And uh, obviously also for the people who donated, like uh, D. Gray. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for smashing that like button. In about 19 days, we have this channel. I mean, I have the channel for longer, but I've been uploading live streams and videos for about a year in about 19 days. If you want to be there before the year ends, then smash that like button, subscribe, follow on Twitch, etc. right now. And I hope to see you all in the next one.